is cerebration. Uh, so again, all descending cortical fibers are cut, okay, including the rubrospinal tract. After spinal shock, again, there will be distal muscle weakness. There will be spasticity of the muscles, but the pattern will be decerebrate rigidity, not decortical rigidity. So all the muscles will go into extension, clasp knife reflex by overactivity of the gamma efferents. Upper motor neuron lesion, of course, but specifically gamma motor lesion. This rigidity, this rigidity of the extensors in decerebration, what is the exact cause of this? If this diagram is in front of you, work it out. I'm not concerned about the flexors. I'm concerned about the extensors because, the, because they are large anti-gravity muscles. They dominate in the clinical picture. That's why I'm restricting myself to the extensors. So go on. Remember I talked to you about this little fellow here. The ALS, while you would argue that, hey, decerebration causes freeing up of both the stimulatory and the inhibitory ret uh, reticulospinal tracts. So there should be a balance between overstimulation and overinhibition of the gamma efferents. But here is the ace of the argument. The stimulators get an extra kick from the ALS branch. Hence, if you are sitting at the gamma efferent, the net stimulation is more than the net inhibition. Precise reason of decerebrate rigidity. And that's why, you know, remember the chap being tapped on the forehead caused the signs to appear? Hint, hint. You know what this is now? You know why this happened. These cellular frigidity just hold on to your curiosity. We will come back to this. You see clonus, exaggerated reflexes. You know all this. Gamma efferent answers everything. Overactivity of the gamma efferent. You understand that? You understand everything. You have the reduced superficial reflexes. The Babinski sign being positive. Again, this is all standard upper motor neuron lesion stuff. The neuron diagram did not uh, exactly do justice with the lesion site. I'm gonna enhance this just so that I can show you something. See this thing called superior curriculus, inferior curriculus. So this translates into this bit here and this bit here. So posterior to the pons, superior curriculus is to do with eye movements, inferior curriculus is to do with auditory uh, uh, data analysis. A section in between these two, this will cause decerebration. Okay, now why? Why is this is the place where all the cortical fibers pass through? Simple. So, cortical fibers from the cerebral cortex and the rubrospinal tract, they combine here and descend to the muscles, uh, to the brain stem. This is the common pathway. So this is like a vulnerability in the brain for these kind of fibers. If there's a section here, then there's trouble. On a related point, when I say severed, you would think a knife going through and cutting these fibers, right? It happens during neurosurgery. Yes, it does. But more commonly in the intact human being, it can happen as well. Any ideas? Tumors. So tu a tumor would, if there is a tumor, Yes, which presses on the mid collicular region that will have the same effect as cutting the, the stuff. The thing called uncus, so uncal herniation. This can also lead to decerebration as well. 